everybody. I hope y'all are having a great day. I just got off work. I got home. Jesse's mowing the yard. And uh, we have a box in uh, from Hyperlight. They contacted us a little while ago and wanted to know could, um, could they send us a free light, one of their lights. And, um, and we would in turn make a video, do a review on it. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Um, Jesse uh, don't have all his tools with him, so I'm gonna see what all it needs to be mounted. It's a solar LED street light. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera around and let y'all see it, and then we'll try to figure out a place to put it. I'm thinking, hold on just a second. I'm thinking over here, right there on the corner of that pole, that way the chickens will get light and then the backyard will still have light. But that's about the only place other than over on the tree line where the other dog pen, where the dog pen is back there. Other than that, that's the only place that I could think of. Uh, Waylon and, and Butterbean are having fun over there. He loves playing with him in the evening times. The other puppy, he just got put back in. He's been out almost all day. Uh, he gets out most, most of every day. But he likes to drag a lot of trash around and in the yard so he's that he, he finds everything and tears it up so that's why he's put back in the pen right now um butter beans not too bad about it uh but yeah i think maybe that's a good oh sorry that right there that pole right there i think that's a good place the corner post right there on the pole barn uh so hopefully we can get it up and review this thing for y'all so here's the light that's just stuff we had picked up out of the yard uh, while Jesse's mowing. Um, they come in a really big box. I'm in a bigger box. I have it open already. That way it's not showing our address. Um, but it, this is the brand. Solar LED Street Light. Haco Series HC 1000. Um, motion sensor and remote control. That's cool. So I don't, I'm not sure what the retail price of this is. I'll have to look it up on their website and because I didn't see this one. All I saw on the website was light bars, um, but this is really cool. Um, so we will get it opened up and let y'all see it. All right, I got the top of the box open. Let's start pulling this thing apart. I might have to take the whole thing out. I like the whole box apart, maybe not. Let's see, let's see. Oh wow, that's really, really nice looking. Let me grab it. So, here is the solar panel. And just for size reference, uh, that's a Route 44 uh, Sonic drink right there with the straw through it. Uh, so this is pretty big. Just set that right there. Let me see, does that have the light on it? Yeah, the light is all on it and everything. So there's that i'm gonna set that right there and then down in here oops sorry i guess i'm gonna have to pull that other stuff out um install the mounting equipment and the remote i'm sure it won't work very well tonight because let me i'm gonna cut this and then get the rest of it out all right i got everything out and we have the solar light which it is already a little bit charged um so i don't know if you turn it on does it stay on i'm not sure um there's a manual all the hardware there's a wrench to go with it and uh, um remote control this little i guess mountain bracket that's be for this i guess where that connects maybe but there's already one right here, so I'm unsure of that. And then this fits onto that right there. Alright, it took me a little bit to do this by hand and one handed I couldn't do it just with one hand and try to video but I got that mounted on there, got it to where it's because it'll be flipped over so got it to where the angle's the right way 
and we're just going to try to get it mounted up here. I'm going to cut that board off once I get done mowing and put it up. Which board? That one that's sticking way out there. Oh. I'm not going to lay it being able to pull stuff in there. Yeah, I want it right here on this corner. Up there? Yes, sir. Probably up high as you can. You might have to bring the truck around here. I can bring the truck on the pole with it. Yeah. Uh, I'll get some, uh, I can probably put it at the very tip top right against that board. Just wherever, as long as it's getting sun. Oh, Jesse's truck was in the shop the other day when we filmed the first part of it, so I had to wait for him to get his truck back. And he's going to put the light up, and we will see how it works tonight. Well, it's fully dark outside, and um, I'm going to go outside and see how the light's working. It seems like it's shining pretty good, so let's see what it's doing. Uh, it's shining pretty bright. Oh, yeah, it's lighting everything up. Wow, it, it's really bright out here. Usually you can't see nothing back here. So it's doing really good. I can see the barn and everything. Usually it's really pitch black. We do have this light over here, but it doesn't usually do very good. So it's nice to have this side lit up too. Hey, there's Mr. Butterbean. He's, he was up underneath Jesse's trailer, so he's got some some grease on his head but usually it's really dark right there um it looks lighter with my phone but because the phone does have a flashlight on it too but it's lighting up really good i'm really glad it's doing a good job now we need another one for down there <laughs> it's actually really dark out there and when I'm looking myself, I can't see, but when I look through the camera, I can see the outline of the fence and stuff. So, see the dog's eyes over there. Yeah, really, really bright. I'm glad. So, thanks Hyperlight for sending us this light. It's doing a really good job really bright light solar light so no electric needed awesome i'll have everything down in the description for this uh for this light 